Who, 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 <laughs> yo, what? Hey, yo. Facts, that shit hit different. I'm lying, nigga. Save it, save it. Save it, save it. Fuck your life. Save it. Save it. Fuck your life. That nigga do a cantazo. Yo, static, let's go, man. Oh. <laughs> shit might be. Oh, shit. That nigga sat down like my aunt. <laughs> 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 We've both done bad things. <laughs> yeah, facts. <laughs> he said we both done bad things. Don't ever disrespect me. Ever, 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 ever disrespect. Ever, ever, ever disrespect. Ever, ever, ever disrespect. Yo, welcome to Outside with Gorilla Nims, episode 3800. The only podcast that looks like detectives on the block, you heard? Yo, outside. Fuck the police. That's right. To the right of me in the motherfucking turquoise Boston hat with gazelle frames from 1976 Boogie Nights. We got world-renowned disc jockey. <laughs> clap it up, clap it up, it up. Yeah. Clap it up. To the right of him. Our next album's coming out with this fucking guy. He could rap his ass off, but he'd be scared. You know what I'm saying? He sometimes DJs. He, he pumps the mega mix at Tao. You know what I'm saying? Give it up for my boy live from <laughs> Greenhouse, Scram Jones. Yes, sir. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And to the right of him, my two favorite songs I ever did was produced by this guy. This guy fucking is the fucking D Block producer and now the Fuck Your Life producer. He be everywhere with me. His name is motherfucking Vin 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 Oh, no, the fucking vibe. No. And to the right of them, we just got two guys we just picked up just off the street up. to oh. fill up spots. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Him, yeah, that's fucked up. You know what I'm up. saying? We got, uh... <laughs> and look, we wearing the same shit because we filming. We didn't expect Phil Rowe to come today. We didn't know he was coming through. So we did an episode with him, but it really, this was supposed to be the episode. You know what I'm saying? So we ain't figure, we ain't bring two outfits because we ain't know. We thought it was all going to be one episode, but we breaking it into two episodes because that's how we fucking do. What are you Facts. sipping on? See, I'm praying orange juice. I heard you own 0.5% of that. That's how much. That's exactly. What's it called? Much. Shout out to Siempre, man. You know what Siempre means in Spanish? No. It means always drunk. Yeah, Siempre. That means always. Siempre. <laughs> I don't know what Siempre <laughs> is. Siempre. Siempre. <laughs> I'm not saying it with the hard uh, Siempre D thing. I'm Irish. Siempre. 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 That's how I say it. Yo, this guy said nobody would go to fucking Roxbury wearing the Yo, Yankees listen, outfit. Yo, listen. Sam Jones dared me to wear all Boston. Come out here. I got to do it, At man. least you could match, though. I mean, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. that's the point. I don't match. Uh, Yo, I'm speaking not of matching, blends, bro. we already called out our trip oh. from the last year. Oh. That was, that was, that was zero, a DJ dip. That was a compliment. That was a DJ dip. That was one of your blends, bro. Uh, oh, Shout out to one. Fat Joe's boots. But they're not. That was weird. <laughs> that was, that was. That was Yo, Scram, why you never wear a hat? Uh, that shit don't, that shit don't look right. Right hairline. Kid, man. If don't. I had a full head of hair, I wouldn't wear Yo, a hat. Yo, you know what? Me either. That's, That's a testament to not wearing people. hats, because all of us wear hats, and all our hairs is fucked up. Fact. Yeah, yeah, my Scram don't, don't wear do hats? Whole life, his shit is back here. Now he said you got good I used hair. to wear hats when I was young. That's the crazy shit. And then when I got older, that shit just looked goofy on me. What you sipping on? You know, a little Bel Air. Shout to Rose. Shout to the. Oh! The same name back, you know what I'm saying? Champagne sprinkle, campaign. You know. That shit give me diarrhea. It's crazy January, when I used to drink. I hate that. Right <laughs> that shit don't give you diarrhea? That's no, terrible. Yo, Vinny, what you sipping on? <laughs> Rose orange juice. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, mimosa. He got the feminine shit. He <laughs> <laughs> got a mimosa. No, Rose. Yo, Vinny's the only <laughs> producer in history that needs a, a clean version of his drop. Yeah, you got you. I got you. I know. It's a little orange juice and rose. You gotta get a good drop. We having drop. brunch with the boys. Al. <laughs> Pops, did your wife come bring you that coat? Yeah. And the hat. And the hat. Oh, you got the buckle and all flavors. It look like you the goggles, like you said, the goggles on the side. Yeah, yeah, fact. That's for my one. thoughts. Oh for, for one. one. Yeah. Oh for one. Now, that ain't all for one. <laughs> that was you look like one of them living color dancers with the goggles on the side. <laughs> oh, he said you look like oh, J Lo. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna do it to you, Scram. I kinda like you. You're all right. Hey, yo. <laughs> That's now, what kind of laugh was that? You heard that? <laughs> <laughs> so what's up, Static? You depressed? 
Yeah. <laughs> What's the matter? Clinically? Oh. Surrounded by white on white crime. Damn. Oh. Yo, edit that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, don't say that over here. Bro. Yo, his hat matches your jacket. Why don't y'all switch? Who? This does not match that. <laughs> no. I don't fit that. You gonna wear Boston? What's that, an eight and a half? This is an eight. Eight. Damn. Damn. And you holding on. Like it's almost, that's the last one. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I always wonder, because I know motherfuckers with that can't even wear an eight. Like, shot the big Shug, gangstar legend. He can't even wear an eight. Like, Are you cool New Era has up? to make. <laughs> no, New Era has Man, to make. Man, that's joint. fucked up. Yeah. What, what happened? Yo, you just blew up big Shug. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got the Unabomb on deck. Uh, oh, <laughs> Yo, Kuklinski. Like, Yo, Kuklinski. Come here, Kuklinski. You said, wait a minute. Come here, Kuklinski. Damn. They're all, they're all. Bang, 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 bang. Thank you. Oh, you won. It's FIFA's the family. winners. FIFA's family. Look at FIFA looking at them. Vaya, like, vaya. Va, I said famoso. Nice. Congratulations. I'm going to be famous. <laughs> Uh-oh. Ow. Chill. <laughs> Yo, Matt, wait till. Max. Wait till mem has got a little squad of kids behind them, bro. Oh, that's gonna be crazy. Yeah, facts. Fact. Like little ducklings. <laughs> 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 Who wears rings on the fingers? Rings on the index fingers. On the index? I wear rings on every finger, but I was too lazy to put all my. You know, I wasn't on is my. That a, is that a Boston thing? rings? I wasn't on my terminal. Is that a Boston thing? No. So stat, what's up, man? What's 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 your most favorite favorite song you've ever produced? That's a very difficult question. Nah, you gotta answer. We hit the hard hitting question. Um. Let me think. Beautiful Life, man. Yeah, with Action Joey Bronson, and Action Joey Bronson? Action, yeah, that was a fun record to make, fun record to, The video was incredible. We shot it in Croatia on a yacht. It's a nice budget. Love that. Yeah, you know what's crazy is I get 5% of that song because Shaka Khan and the drums we sampled took the whole song. Damn. Damn. Mm. But you know what? That's why I'm different than a lot of motherfuckers because other people would have replayed shit, got rid of the samples, this and that. We sacrificed to keep this hip hop shit going. Scram, what's your favorite for, song? For, hold on, clap it up for that, because he's yeah, being un, unselfish to produce thank good you, art. Thanks. That's dope shit, and I respect that. Scram, what's the favorite song of yours mm. you ever produced? Probably that, um, I'm proud of that last, the DMX lock shit, because it was DMX's last joint. You was in the video. I was there for the video. It was just out of, of, out of a. Uh, Quarantine and shit. No, that was during COVID. It was during COVID. Yeah, yeah. My head was woofing. I hadn't taken. He had Scram hadn't been out. That was the first time he was yeah, outside. I wasn't allowed back in my crib. Like I had to go get tested and all that shit. But my hair was woofing. I ain't get a haircut in like six months. Facts. But we had a whole day in, in Harlem with DMX and then um and then uh, yeah he passed shortly after. But uh that record right there because the locks. I mean I'm from 914, so that's always the home team heroes. And um to throw X in the equation was fire. So you know. Facts. Fire. That was yeah, a big one. Vinny. Come on, man. You just said FYL, produce. I, I mean, gotta say, big, bang, 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 bang. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. No, I gotta but, say but you that. But really don't gotta say that. Yo, <laughs> say stop it. it, stop it. That's <laughs> that shit, yo. Like I, I actually man. was right here. Congo. I remember when Vinny sent me that beat, I was doing I was doing the Congo album. The Bing Bong shit was nowhere near like blown up. We did the side talk shit already, but it wasn't like, it didn't get viral for like six months. I'm sitting right there, right in front of where that G is at. I'm playing it, it's like 10 o'clock at night. In this, that's a fucking moped. That's horrible that it sounds like that. Like a real motorcycle. Crazy. Harley Davidson moped. Get the that's fuck just out of here. So anyway, I'm sitting right there, I got the window open, I'm bumping it. Like when I get a beat, I just like to like sit with it for like a week and just let it like my whole digestive shit. And somebody was passing by. Oh, somebody blast him. Nah. <laughs> somebody was passing a bus driver. I guess he was going to a train conductor. He stopped and was like, yo, you made that beat? I was like, nah. But I was already into the beat, so I just dubbed him. I was like, nah. And it just he just was st sitting there, like, listening to it. He was me. like, bing bong, and you're like, I got an idea for the song. <laughs> <laughs> oh for one. <laughs> oh for three. Oh for three. <laughs> nah, yeah, that was but, a good um, one. That was a good one. Yo, but... <laughs> Um, Vin, how did you link up with the locks? Because you from the Bronx, they from Yonkers. Mm hmm That was through Super Mario. You know, I was good with Super Mario, and, you know, he was over there doing a lot of the work. So, you know, he just really brought me in. You know, and, it was, you know, from there, it was just a go. Fire. Wow. Fire. I think a man smooth, right, Vin? It's the yeah. mimosa. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. 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 You're on that man yeah. I wanted to have this episode because these guys are my three like favorite producers that like if I'm doing something, 
I'll go to them. You know what I'm saying? Static, static makes beats that are amazing in fucking five minutes. You know what I'm saying? Like, he'll make like fucking 20 beats a night. You know what I'm saying? Like he just And then won't go to the studio for two weeks though. That's exactly. You know what I'm saying? But static I mean. is quick with it. St static just bangs shit out. Scram static also, if you're a new artist, because then when I first met static, as a, a lot of artists also think that static don't like you. But it's just his demeanor. You know what I'm saying? It's just how his face rests, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but everybody thinks that I thought this for man. Compliment home, fest? I was like, yo, hey, I was like, yo, I think I don't know what's up with that. I don't think rest. he likes me. Uh, uh, the girl Bean said the same thing, and a couple people. I was like, nah, that's just how he is. Like, it, don't take that personal. It's just, that's just him. You know what I'm saying? And then you know, yeah, he got the sour man. face. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no, it, it's never that. I don't, you know, I don't dislike someone unless there's a reason. But yeah, yeah, it's more to me. It's like I meet so many rappers. It's like you're over it. You ain't getting respect just because you're a rapper. Facts. Period. You gotta earn that shit. And that's you know. But on the on the flip side, you also put a lot of people on. You brought a lot of people for the first time up to your, to the show on Shade 45. You you put a lot of people on. I don't want, I'm not even gonna bring up other people's names, but there was a lot of people that you brought up to the show for the first time that after they came on your shit and you worked with them, yeah. it kind of like branded them and they and they reached a higher level of success. How do you how do you see that in people? Like, what do you look for? Just the shit that, that I fell in love with with hip hop in the first place, seeing those qualities and seeing who takes it you know, serious. A lot of people, you can tell when someone's trying to make a flavor of the month joint and yeah. make money off of rap. It ain't about that. Obviously, money's important, but it ain't why you should be in love with rapping or making music. So when um, when I hear, you know, certain qualities in an artist, and it might take a minute, too. Sometimes I get it right away. Sometimes the cats like Wiz Khalifa, right? Like, I love Wiz. But when I first heard him, I passed. And... Then he ended up doing more music and getting better. Yeah. And when Mac Miller came out, the first thing I said to Artie, shout out to Artie from Rostrum back then, he don't work there no more, but I was like, I'm not letting what happened with Wiz happen with Mac. Facts. Both you know, Pittsburgh. Yeah, shout out, rest in peace, Mac Miller, man. But he was, the second I heard him, I was like, bring him to the show. It's his first time in New York. Comes up, it's his 18th birthday. Burned down my show, came to the studio, did records that night. And he was like, yo, I gotta go back to Pittsburgh for my birthday party but I'm coming back tomorrow. I was like, all right, bro. And they weren't flying, he was driving. Six hours. Went back for his birthday party, came right back and recorded more songs. That's like, fire. Yeah, That's man. That's crazy. That's, That's some crazy work ethic. Shit like that, man. It's like... That's dedication, bro. Yo, I said it. I posted that shit on my shit. Like, yo, this rap shit takes... And even music in general, when you in this game for real, but that shit is mad sacrifices, bro. There's mad birthdays you miss. There's mad holidays you miss. There's mad everything you miss in the sake of living your dream. And fucking, bro, that shit is not easy. Yo, shout out to, um... Shout out to Justin Flesher. Yeah. He was... Yo, I was in Puerto Rico. I had two black eyes. Just got in a fight. You lost? Yeah, I did that one. Honestly, <laughs> yo, honestly, it was probably the only fight I ever lost in my life. And shout out to my man. He knows who he is. It's all love. But um, I was out in Puerto Rico. I never met like, Static. No, nah, we hadn't met yet. And he's like, I'm out here with Nems. You know Nems? I'm like, nah. And he sent me the song he was shooting. And I was like, it's cool. <laughs> Fast forward, I mean, Nems, it took, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You now to you got to earn that shit. shit, like you yeah. said. Yeah, fact. But then I went up to a show and I, yo, I had. Turn it down. I had, it down. I, had, it down. I was like, I've been waiting. And he I'm bought sad. a beat off me early. Like, I think Yo, he said it was Static the is the only person I've ever paid for a beat for. I gave him seven fifty. Four beats. <laughs> it was more than that. It was more than that. But anyway. No, he wanted he wanted. No, no, no. This no. is mad long I know exactly ago. Exactly what it was. Nah, this was mad long ago. It was twice that. But anyway. Um, nah, I wasn't. It was seven fifty. <laughs> no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Yo, he but knows never, how much he gave you, bro. I know. And I never used that beat. We made that song in my daughter's room. She was about to be born. Yeah. That, the song never even came out. But yeah, look facts. now, we got a whole album of amazingness. That's fire. It's been on my shit. Yo, but this was mad long. This had to be like... <laughs> nah, I was... 29, 2009 or 2010. No, it? it was 2015. No way. Yes, it was, bro. <laughs> whatever the case. It was 2015. But anyway, the point I don't is... I remember last week, bro. Yeah, all right, whatever you said. I only lived in that apartment for two years. All right. Anyway. <laughs> uh, it was 1500. What's the big deal? I'm sorry. And that was still, that was still the fucking. Didn't come out, so didn't give him the, the point is, though, <laughs> the point is, is Nems went about it. Let's keep it a million. I see Nems getting kind of, especially a couple years ago, 
Trill Static One, I feel like he was getting frustrated with this rap shit, right? Absolutely. The Trill Static One is when they recorded, him and Bum B recorded an album in a day. And I came through, Bun didn't know me, you know what I'm saying? And and there was mad people there, Uncle Murder, fucking Fat Joe. And I'm standing around for like a couple hours, you know what I'm saying? And I didn't get on the album, you know what I'm saying? They all took a picture together, I'm like in the back, I'm not in the picture. I, was, I just was like, nah, you know, whatever, I was getting frustrated. Fast forward, Trill Static 2, Bun was like, yo, please come through and get on this shit, Fire. you know what I'm saying? Yo. And that's just that, a testament to staying down. That's a testament to... Motherfuckers do this rap shit and get frustrated and quit. But when you keep going, or anything in life, really, you keep going with anything and you don't quit, you can't lose. You can't lose if you just keep going and going. Facts. And them's just killing shit now. So, Facts. come on, man. Yeah, clap it up, clap it up. Clap it up for me, bro. Yeah, clap it up for me. Yo, Busy, we say when to clap, not you, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Scram Jones. Oh, 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 oh
Right. Scram was in unsigned hype. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Had Scram to... was in a battle fucking TV show. Yeah, I had to battle Source Did you Sound win? Lab. Nah, I went to the finals. Would you I hate, I hate you to... lost? Yeah, yeah, I did lose. I did lose. <laughs> but I, but it was under foul circumstances. Like when we got there, I already had. See, I'm not dumb. I look at the room. I know what. When you do battles, you're supposed to use what's around you. You know what I'm saying? Like, make it, like, look at the yeah, dude's shirt. Yeah, this is back then before the URL shits, before Fight Club. Yeah, so I already... This is like when you was in... Yeah, no, I, I when knew... When you would have to be in, like, wetlands and stuff and just freestyle about shit around the room. That's what battles consisted yeah, of. Yeah, so I knew who the saying? judges were. I knew how the room looked. Like, there was a hole in the wall. I was, I, I was going to use that as a punchline. The kid was wearing a shirt that said a history. And I don't know. I had all this shit in my head, and I was ready to go. I was the first battle and the first rapper. And it was a boxing ring and everything. And then they're like, yo, for this one, you can't snap on the guy in front of you. It's a, it's a, what's it called? Uh, not an exhibition. Compliment uh, 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 um, A showcase. Rap to, the, yeah, rap yeah, to yeah. the crowd. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get disqualified if you diss the dude. Wow. I said, you're going to tell me this five minutes before I get on? So I'm going through my mental Rolodex. Back then, I had mad bars. So I was like, all right, let me just throw this little punchline verse I got. I'll just throw it out there. I did it. And I still bodied him in the first verse because I still had punchline. But the second verse... He got me with the with the because he's because they gave me words so they they said rap Adidas Nike and Reebok for me and they gave him like life death survival so he's like I end your life like OJ's wife for the knife I was like oh shit and like, I'm like I'll kick you with my Adidas off you know yeah yeah man, man, Adidas. man, man footwear uh, and um uh, and I was so tight and the crazy shit they sent you home right after yo that was like the walk of shame like they literally had the plane. Right, like two hours later. On a tarmac. I remember I had some pants that like the, the drawstring broke, so they, they kept falling down. And I went to get a coffee and I spilt on myself. So I was like walking through the airport hey, with, with coffee stains and my shit was falling <laughs> down. You know, so. I was mad because I had the verse to beat him. And that was just a, a moment. But then they gave, me the, they gave me the shit the next month. <laughs> you know, they gave me the column. And it was right after Saigon. And the dude, Gotti, that does the writing for the source at the time, was managing Saigon. And he just got out of jail. And he's like, yo, you got to work with um, with my artist side. He just got out. He got the month before you. And that's how me and him started getting up. And we did like 100 records back then, you know. Fire. But that's, that's crazy. That was the... That's crazy. That's what's, your fa what's your favorite beat you ever did? But we ever, I just asked him that, you fucking asshole. <laughs> Yo, welcome to the show. Now. Yeah, welcome. Let me, outside Let me with get the, the Give me the wig. No. Give me the wig. Give me the wig. Give me the wig. I'll give you a different <laughs> Go on the armrest. The wig's in the armrest. What's your second favorite thing? No, and this one right here. Bobby's the armrest. I got a zipper. Lloyd Banks, work magic. That's my shit. Yeah, that shit. Nah, oh, nah, nah, don't take that shit out. Nah, give him the wig, Vince. You gotta wear the wig, man. I'm not wearing that shit. You have to wear the wig. You have to wear the wig. Wear the wig. Wear the wig. Put it on, Pops. What's the signal of the wig? I don't know. He wore it. Bro, are you waking up? Welcome to the outside I'm wigging out. He wigging out. Damn, you bro. You the wig back in the glove compartment? Yeah. I'm going out in New York, scrambling across the street. That's a bullshit, Auntie Wig. You never fought each other? Huh? You ever fought each other? Nah, we fought someone else and I got arrested. Damn. <laughs> Why, Static Snitch? Nah, so... <laughs> static Snitch. Damn, yeah, what happened? He just got his plaque from Lloyd Banks, and that shit was a very big inspiration in my life, man. Because he was, like, over there doing... Well, I remember one night we went to uh, the night you did the Biggie record for duet. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And we were at Puff Studio. Oh! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Where you I'm, going? What? She going home? <laughs> but nah, Scram was... Come on, definitely that's an old ass lady. Shit. Especially coming out here like fresh from Boston. I knew a lot of industry cats, but he was producing all the shit that Fuck I Fuck Boston. Hey, whatever, man. <laughs> I'm out here. Like I said, go to Roxbury, go to Dorchester, wearing all Yankees and see a how night it goes. at the Roxbury. <laughs> yeah. Mean streets of Boston. Yeah, I got her <laughs> I got her number. You like those apples? The fuck out of here. <laughs> fuck the car. <laughs> yeah, I know my man Vinny got mad hood platinum plaques in the crib. You know what I'm saying? Sure. <laughs> Yo, he got Plaque, he got platinum plaques for shit that didn't go platinum. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fire. It was the hood, B. Yo, it's yo, hood, though. No, it's going platinum in the hood, man. Yeah, nah, nah, um, I still got the boring professor voice. Listen, you, see, you see Vinny Idol's name on the production for an album, you know it's most likely the heat. hardest yeah, joint heat. on the fucking album. Because with Vinny, yeah, yo, I'm going to tell you this with Vinny. Sneaky. <laughs> the first time I dealt, we, I dealt with him, and this is. This is a, a, a ill story. So Ricky and Takeover, rest in peace. They passed away in August of 2019. I didn't rap for the whole t rest of 2019. I didn't think of rhymes. I didn't want to rhyme. I didn't know if I was still gonna rhyme. I didn't know what the case was. 
right? I was just fucked up. Um, probably January, February, around like, you know, this time in 2020, right before the pandemic hit, like right before. Fucking, um, I went and linked up with Vinny. I went to his crib. I didn't know what I was gonna do. I didn't know if I was gonna write there. I didn't know if I even was gonna write. I didn't know what the deal was. Fucking, he starts playing me mad beats, right? So he goes through like 10 beats and I don't like none of them. And I'm like, damn, nah, I know I ain't come over here and Vinny ain't got no heat. <laughs> I said, yo, Vinny, you just did some shit on the Styles album. I was like, that. oh, he was like, oh, you want something like that? Puts on one sample. You know the vibe. It was like oh. hustle and flow. Right? I'm like, you know yeah, that's it right there. You know, you know he starts putting the fucking drums. Dude, I was like, that's a fucking banger. I wrote like, I'm sitting there. I was like, all right. I wrote like two bars. I said, nah. I said, yo, Vin, put this on. Email it to me right now. I'm going to go home with it for like a week. You know what I'm saying? Let me. I, I, I want to make this right. You know what I'm saying? I went home with it. I, the whole car ride home, I just played it over and over and over and over. And uh, that shit got me like out the rut of not rap. Look, you can hear it like, listen here, my goal set and my vision clear. I don't hang around no more because we on a different tier. When the energy's off, I smell the fear. When some real shit happens, the fake will disappear. That's everything that was going on in the life at that time. You know what I'm saying? Ricky would have fucked your bitch. Take over would rob you. You know what I'm saying? That was all like my life at that time and that became that's probably my favorite song i've ever done like just because of the circumstances but also i could play that that song you know i listen to my shit all the time you know you get sick of your own shit sometimes that's one song that i could play and never get sick of and it has so many quotables to me in it even when i perform it the crowd knows the ricky and takeover part um and I don't comment on bitches' pages. I just fuck them. You know what I'm saying? Like, like people know those fucking lines. You know what I'm saying? And that's I mean, that's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Banger. to my girl. She probably won't like. Oh. <laughs> Them's the rapper. His girl. That brought me back to like to life. That joint. You know what I'm saying? And oh. <laughs> that just showed like that came out on the bamboo shit. That's only three songs because that just shows you at that time. I didn't have any music in the stash. That shit was hard. You know what I'm saying? So I was just like, this song could stand on its own. I'm gonna just drop this on like a three song EP. You know what I'm saying? Bing bong, fuck your life. <laughs> as, soon as, you, as soon as he rapped on it, you knew that was a banger? Nah, but he didn't hear it. Yeah. I went, I went back the next week and I, and I went back to his house. Like, yo, let's do this shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And right, but it's the first time you heard him spit on that, you knew right there. Oh yeah, I already right. knew it was. Yeah. It was fire for sure. So you did when when you sent uh, the Big energy. Bong, that yeah, Big Bong facts. record, we, and you were like, another one, Vinny Idol, I like. Nah, we Bro, was two, two, two for two. two. Now nah, when he sent Big Bong, I was at the con the Congo album. I didn't know if I wanted to lyrical miracle it or wanted to make the shit more commercial. So when I did Bing Bong, I knew everybody was saying it, but it wasn't like viral yet. We was all saying it over here, but I was like, I felt stupid saying like everything, fix your motherfucking you face, stupid. stupid. It's 12, that big gorilla uh, shit, but it ain't bait stupid. Yo, somebody else made that comment. You rhyme stupid, we stupid, but it's not stupid, no, we stupid. It's, it's, it's the word before. It's that fix your face. It's that big gorilla yeah, shit, but it, it ain't bait. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. You just you add the, stupid, it's just the ad lib. Yes. But when I perform that shit, the whole crowd is yelling, stupid, stupid, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And just <laughs> making it simple like that yeah. is way it more, cuts through. Yeah, way cuts. more fucking, yeah. more, does more yeah. than lyrical miracle in it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Especially so at this time. So it's good so it's good. Nah, yeah, it's time, and it's time right here. A hundred percent. Demographic. Stupid is working. Yeah, nah, so when Vinny sends me a beat pack, I always find some, some shit, you know what I'm saying? That's what's up. Oh, we got Miguel coming through. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, you can go through. God. Pass, that's who you had your man um, without the legs in? Not nah, a good one, the bigger one. <laughs> that the wheels in, you could go like this with the shopping cart. <laughs> yeah. Yo, nah, nah, let him go through. Let him go through. You had a miscarriage? Tell you, nah, it was a, a real <laughs> shopping cart. What, what was the music? Who had music? Oh, you only brought the carriage out just for the music? Yeah. Ah. Oh, you got the cross. You saw the right. cross? Yeah, the big. Hey, right, look at those Tims. <laughs> like oh. Fucking shopping cart showcase. You cool. gotta have That's a big speaker a bushes, just because right? the wheels are so fucking loud. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Static, what's up with you, bro? Every time I see you, you got a new chain, bro. You getting money? 
I mean, first of all, don't ask weird questions like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was creepy. Well, second, second of all, yeah. well, second of all. Second of all, I've been getting money since you were fucking in jail, bro. Relax. Oh. <laughs> Yo, who oh. win in a battle? Oh. Oh. Flat. Uh, you oh. or terminology I think in a rap battle? I usually win. I usually win. He's yeah. obviously a way better rapper, but I usually win in the battles. Nah, he battles terminology on a regular basis. On a regular basis. They probably got 100 battles. How Blood many think you won out of 100? Like 90. <laughs> <laughs> Nine times out of 10. We're going to ask terminology. I was a rapper in a different life, bro. Record it. Record it one time. So you think you could be Scram in the battle? Off the top of the head, maybe, but not. we're not doing Nah, Scram is good off the top. Paul. Scram Lyric, nah, fit. Scram's an what? amazing rapper. What's going on, bro? I can beat you. Nah, you can't beat me. A lot of people, fit, yo, <laughs> off the top of the head is a different sport. It is. Scram is. It's like scram a lost art form. It's a freestyler, bro. It's a lost art form. Because you watch we battles. Scram, yo, look. Like, scram about to go. Yeah, he's about to go. He's about to go. No, no, no. I'm going to tell a story. I was going to tell a story about what, like the cloth that we cut from, from from the end of the week for five nice. years straight. Every Sunday, there would be nothing but MCs lined up to get on stage. At the end, yeah, I would kick my little, you know, my little rhyme at the end. But then after that, we'd be on a block for like an hour or two. Someone had instrumentals on a boombox. Off the top, though. Yeah, it's freestyling for hours. That shit's dead, man. You know what Yo, don't worry. We're not filming nothing. Yeah, Yo, you give good? me the mic. Come here. Come here. Here, talk, talk. Here, here, here. Talk on the mic. Talk on the mic. Who are you? Que tu nombre? Que tu nombre? <laughs> no, he said. Uh, he said, no, no, no. I just got. Que tu nombre? He called a seizure. Yeah. And as many of the elements as possible. I was trash at graffiti. I did it, <laughs> but I was trash. Trash at ramen. No, I wasn't trash at ramen. I just didn't pursue it. But be, you know, DJing was my first love. Where the fuck you get static selection? I was really bad at breakdancing, but I did it still. Damn. So you had to DJ. You had no other choice. Man. <laughs> Life's hard. Where you get static selection? That was the last option. Uh, I was DJ Static, and there was a bunch of other DJ Statics, and I was frustrated. And my first gig in New York City, actually, the dude in the Bronx was on the mic. He goes, what's your name? I go, DJ Static. He goes, select a Static. And I was like, let me reverse that, and now it's ain't going to be no other Static Selector. Not nah, facts. So that shit stood out, and it, it saved me. So shout out to that dude. His name was Mr. Way of Life from oh, the yeah. Bronx. Shout out to him. That was check. 1999. He probably, <laughs> he he probably, he probably, he probably, you got beef with Cat Stacks? He probably dead. I don't get it. Cause she don't know you. <laughs> no, that wasn't Cat Stacks. What that was Little Debbie. You got beef her? No. Shout out to Little Debbie. Thank you for the drop. Um, <laughs> <laughs> little Debbie. That's the cake, bro. <laughs> I don't remember the dude's name. Oh, shout out to Reggie P. Reggie P was on my show. He's and he was like, yo, so, li you know, Little shout Debbie. Shout out to get, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking bro. four shots. Yo, guys. let him nah. talk. We was we passed you already. <laughs> you just asked me a question. No, Yo, we want to shout out. <laughs> yeah, it's got to do with that. Yeah. Yeah. The context, because he's talking Come about. Come on, you can't be shy. Fuck it. <laughs> Yo, little Debbie, bro. Listen. So he was on my show and he was talking about her rapping and he was helping her some shit and I was like, she trash, bro. And I was just keeping it real. That's what we do on the radio. So I guess Vlad saw and asked her an interview and she's like. Stack Selector, like who the fuck is oh, he? Yeah, I don't even listen to his yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. So I use that shit as a drop wow. and it's classic now. So that's the illest hip hop shit she ever did. Shout out to her. Turn that's negative funny. to a positive. And it's all good. The remix. <laughs> you got beef with any artists? Vegetarian. Damn. <laughs> who? Damn, yo, welcome to the outside. Give him the wig. <laughs> oh, 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 for trying, 40, I was trying to record you blow the smoke Again? in your face. You know there's seven cameras here. Why do we need you to record? Because it? it's funnier because then I recorded it. You literally on, got I recorded seven it. cameras. I One, two, three, four, I don't four, care five, about that. Six, seven, eight, I want eight cameras here. He took out his iPhone. But we need your iPhone. Come on, man. Oh. Fuck you, bro. By the way, that's not smoke. He's that. That vape shit is not even worth. You even see a vape? What, what vape? What are you oh, talking about? It's blowing smoke. <laughs> oh, he don't know what he's talking about. He had a heart attack. Two of them. Two, bro. His mind's he's fat. Can't be laughing. A lot. That's not funny though. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> That's not. <laughs> it's true though. But we had Scram scared over here. He was sitting in the corner. I was bored. He was, under, <laughs> he was underneath this, the desk. I was bored and cold. Oh, he was under the desk? He was under this the desk. This dude would have given me a shirt for a fucking Yo, four nothing's set. for free. <laughs> FYL store, nothing's then for I free. Then I finally Facts. got this. Real fans nah. pay extra, Yeah, man. nothing's Read the for sign. free. Read the sign. Facts. Yeah, it was all love, but I was cold and I was bored. So shit, I sat down. You ain't give me a stool to sit on, nothing, bro. This chair was right here for you. Somebody deboed you. It's all good. It's all for the love of uh, hip-hop music. <laughs> nah, that's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs>
I'm here to say, I well, look, I even wear, you talking about, you know, I come to support who support me. I, I, support, I support my people. I ain't wearing no polo. I respect that. Well, FYL. I respect Facts. that. Facts. We love, too, because remember on episode, what was that, five? They weren't uh. even talking on five. Who? It's on Do Not Disturb. Oh, yeah, Scram. We were, I, was, I wasn't talking on to Scram for a minute. Facts. Oh, I didn't go to his party because... Birthday party. Birthday party. I ain't either. Yeah. He wasn't talking to me neither. And honestly, no, I, 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 I was actually... Next, I didn't even tell Vinny Idol about it. Word. And I was mad I didn't go, too. I couldn't go. Static was there. I crashed that You want me to drop two Static hours in a suspended there? license. Wow. Like, Fuck I couldn't drop two hours in a suspended Fuck license it. in the rain no, with a right. fucking... <laughs> <laughs> nah, Fuck I came it. to his fucking birthday party, and I didn't want to fucking go. Yeah. Who? Yeah, but did you do a whole Damn, tribute on Instagram? I don't did a whole swipe for that motherfucker on Instagram. Like Mems, it. my brother. That's and why you throw all our fucking memories out there. This motherfucking man ain't show up to something that he didn't even know was going down. It was a surprise. Yeah, but you knew about it. I knew about it and I couldn't make it, Charlie. So, All right, you know. wait till your next birthday. Charlie. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. Show you ain't getting no more. Uh, <laughs> 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 Man. My party's sick. We have Doing a lot Don't of invite shit. no, don't go to the sta uh, Scram's next birthday party. This kid's getting shot up. <laughs> I don't even want a birthday. <laughs> Tell you that right now. <laughs> be Bro, you shooting somewhere. a lot of shit this Nah, you gotta have your birthday. This, this episode, you shooting the Barclays. <laughs> <laughs> you shooting the Barclays and his shit? And everything's getting yeah, shot. As long as it go viral, do yeah. it. Do just, I got that just spot. miss. Just yes. miss. It will still go viral. <laughs> yeah, man. Miss that headline. <laughs> yeah. At least I got one. Hey. 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 Now his shit is all right, though. You all right. You all right. Yeah. Look at the vultures just waiting for us to die. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Pidge. What? He said, look at the vultures waiting for us to die. Yeah, What's sure. wrong? What, did the, what is that you drinking again? Semperate. Yeah, Semperate. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> We're doing a podcast. Shout out the fuck? Semperate. He's looking at the sky. Shout out to Semperate. And where the fuck you see a vulture, bro? <laughs> <laughs> where you at, in the desert? A vulture? <laughs> you just see the birds are circling. Who the fuck looks up there, bro? <laughs> hey, man. He's like Destroy, looking up there like, oh. oh no, I seen D on this show. D looked like he Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Destroy looked like he was looking for God. <laughs> it was shout the coldest. Destroy. It was fucking, yeah, shout out Destroy. Shout out to Destroy. That it was good. brick brick that nah, day. Nah, that's, this is a summer day compared to when Destroy was out here. Right. That was the shortest episode, 38 minutes. <laughs> yeah, and he had ankle socks. <laughs> he, was, he was miserable. It was like, <laughs> so I was like, damn, bro. <laughs> He's still mad funny. Yo, you ever took a shit in the pool, Static, or the beach? What the fuck? You ever shit in the beach? Oh, he was going to ask you that. He that. I have not done that. That's weird that you asked that. Where's What's voters? No about? floaters? Where does that come from? He's like, yo, don't ask me if I shit, and don't ask me who I'm voting for. <laughs> yo, you ever took a shit in the pool? or what? Or... In the beach, in the beach. I keep it warm. <laughs> but, not, but not no floaters. You know what I'm saying? Not no floaters. Or, like, oh, no, I piss in pools all the time. Maybe some bubbles. Yeah. I piss in pools all the time. <laughs> Vinny, you, uh, Vinny took a shit in the pool. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. <laughs> Vinny took a shit in Far Rockaway. <laughs> I get my pals to do Max, that. Edge me. First of all, this is Coney Island, uh, the home of shit and water. Facts. Shit That's why water. I shit in the water. Before. You know what we did? We went fishing out here. Back we went fishing. We went No, we did. It came to the top. You on Front Street. I thought it was going to sink. Let's drop some national People don't know how many sharks are out here. Yo, I caught a shark. Right on I caught a shark Coney too. Island. Hey, how you Mike did it? How you water did it? playing with it? them. The shits ain't have no teeth. <laughs> they don't want to do that. They're like this big. <laughs> they're like them shits that be on the bottom of the no, sand. No, there's so like many this. sharks out here. Sand shark. Whatever the fuck they there's are. There's so I many sharks out here. It's crazy. That nigga had the old lady shark. Shout out to Mike for the fishing extravaganza. that shit right here. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <It's> shock. <laughs> no teeth. No suction. Neither That's the crackers or the block. You still get it. Is that? So I let the shock. That's weird, man. You know what I'm saying? You gotta grab it by the tail. Fishy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you heard it? That y'all fishy. <laughs> Yo, why did Paz make it a boy shark? You said you gotta grab him by. You could have picked a girl shark. Oh. You don't get to talk about a shark. A girl oh. shark got a tail, too. No, you said you gotta grab him. Yeah, but by what the tail. I didn't say him. You did say you grab him. him. Yeah, <laughs> I said it. You gotta grab him. It. 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 We so gotta have to grab, grab him by the we tail. Have to that. <laughs> Come on, son. Y'all niggas know it's a boy or a girl shark when you grab it? What the fuck are you talking about? So it don't matter to you? you nah, working? I wouldn't let a boy shark suck my shit. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be a girl shark. They'd probably do it better, I don't oh. know. Hey, hey, <laughs> yo, what? <laughs> You're talking about aquatics, though, right? <laughs> aquatics. He's like the, 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 what's, the, what's his name from uh, The Boys? That fucking... <laughs> 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 
Who, <laughs> <laughs> me? Me, man. Damn, man. He got oh, mad offers. Ah, that's 0 for 1. You got mad offers. You got mad offers. I respect that. I respect that. 0 for 1. You got mad offers. You're having a word. So you had a bad day. Yeah, offers. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Yo, did you snort busy? Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> Yo, that was like, this episode's going good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Yo, he looks like a bum too. Look at him. Come yeah, do your allegedly. drip check. Come on. Drip check, yeah, fact. Yeah. Come on, busy. Come on, busy. Hop it up, busy. Hey, busy. Hey, up, hey, up, hey, hey, I was playing yeah. basketball. He woke up. He just woke up. You heard him? I was playing basketball. basketball. You don't fucking what? play basketball. I, I know your toes. Your toes is God, fucking that didn't call me crazy. Me about so you tell me. He three. He got passed it over. Dad calls you and you make it. And who the fuck? I never heard of you playing basketball. Are you serious? Yeah. Let's play one on one. Hey yo, <laughs> but it's hard for it. What are you loving basketball? Let's play one on one for your love. What the fuck is that, bro? Hey, mad eye contact. Yeah, let's play one on one for your love, for your heart. Yo, we got single moms out here walking with kids around cars because Nems wants to have a fucking David Letterman Welcome show. To the, <laughs> you like the fucking desk. <laughs> that shit is official. Gorilla Letterman. <laughs> Fact. You should have somebody under there one episode. On that How age. you know there's not? How you know there's not? <laughs> That's the <laughs> joke you say when you have yeah, when you over have 40. <laughs> so there's nobody under there. How you know, though? Because your hamongs is under there. They'll die if they're under there. This is, this is spacious, <laughs> What you talking huh? about, nigga? Yo, do you think you, you three people can fuck today. us three up? I finished my bottle. <laughs> no. That's a good one. We can Wait. fuck them up, right? Six months? All right. See him pray, man. Fact. Without a doubt. Uh, if it, yo, if it was three, three against three, yeah. six, who would you pick? So yeah. that sounds crazy. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 that sounds crazy. <laughs> Static and who else? Get a cup. Wow. Hold on, this shit, this, what, what, I don't like wait, this what combo. What was the question? If it was, if, if it was a three on three fight, who's my team? Right, who would you good, pick, man. your other two? Who's my team? Yeah. I'm not in this game. I'm going to pick Nems. Paz is gonna get one shot. He's yeah, out. Yeah, he's done. <laughs> and I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna pick uh Scram. Scram's in wild shape. He's in wild shape. <laughs> he's in wild shape. Nah, so. you gotta pick him. Nah, he's quiet. He's gonna That's the one. I'm gonna be like, yo, we watch. fighting. He's gonna be like, that's who you gotta watch. Nah, the quiet ones are the ones to worry about. Quiet ones are the ones to worry about. Yo, so yeah, I, but who would you pick, Paz? Who just started three? With. Who just started three? Fight club. Who's your other two you fight you picking? I'm gonna pick, fuck the, I'm gonna pick both y'all two, my guys, fuck them. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I want to lose the fight. I, I don't know. Look, the ambulance is already out of the truck. As you fuck around and run on me, and I'll be like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good answer. Mimosa, it was Mimosa. I'll be like, this. Vinny, who you picking? <laughs> Of course, Square was static, because we yeah. get to the back. Uh, Look, we ain't got no time for that the bull. Beach, uh, the beach, the beach, uh, <laughs> the beach. Uh, <laughs> he said, of course, static and... <laughs> Salute. Of course, static. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. who you picking? <laughs> I'll pick Gorilla over here. <laughs> and... um. Uh, who uh, up here? Yeah, not over there, right? Nah, nah. nah. <laughs> There's a hidden play over there. He's he's a, he's a champion. <laughs> Probably static, you fucking crazy motherfucker. You said him. You can pick him twice. Nah, I said, said me and static. static. Damn, you didn't pick me. I picked you. Yo, let me repick, man. Nah. He likes to fight. <laughs> static, who you picking? Me. Like I don't fight. Me. <laughs> me. <laughs> you said me. <laughs> That's it? Just me. Shout out to Siempre, man. Siempre. <laughs> I got two. Look, me, this bottle, and the other bro, bottle. Facts, yeah. Hey. Bro, wild bottle. <laughs> Yo, that's the bullshit bottle, hey. too, you got on your screen. Watch your mouth. That's the, it's every beat all right? you. <laughs> yeah, it's two cups. Yo. Watch out the facial tissue. Hey. Hey. Yo. Yo. Oh. You took it to what? <laughs> oh, he leaned in. <laughs> Yo, this guy's whispering sweet nothings. Yo, <laughs> get him out of here. May your life be like an Italian bread, long and full of dough. Enjoy. You know what? No. Oh. Oh. Fucking yeah. rocking rabbi over here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That guy, he was in a mobster <laughs> movie or something we don't know about. Yeah. <laughs> that was some lucky Man, Luciano baby. shit. Right I'm picking there. Vinny and six. Because of the yeah, boots, too. I'm stomping somebody out. Nah, Vinny. You know why? Oh, you Because nah. Paz, That's just done. back massage. You catch a, I duke it to the chest. He's done. Yeah, you're done. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Static is like, come on. <laughs> you just... Yeah? Boom! He he said, got it. Nah, like, Static will keep nah, coming nah, at you. Nah, he like an Ewok. <laughs> <laughs>
You guys never saw Star Wars. How you know what an Ewok is? I know what a fucking Ewok, Ewok is. is. I don't get it. Star Wars is trash. Yeah, fuck Star Wars. Star Wars. You never love Star, Star Wars. Wars. All right, so fuck you then. Fuck Star Wars. <laughs> fuck your life. You watch Star, like Star Wars? Wars? Yeah, you a Star Trek type kid. motherfucker. I'm like, neither. Fuck I'm an in this world it. type of motherfucker reality, yeah, bro. Lord of the Rings, I don't care bro. about space. You care about vultures. Who you looking for? A fucking alien <laughs> thing up there, bro? What the fuck? For fucking, uh... <laughs> what? And he's sober. What? Uh, you were looking for vultures. You said, look, uh, for vulture. Yeah. No, I know, but he's talking about aliens and shit. I looked up and saw some birds, bro. Why are you looking up? What's fucking birds? <laughs> <laughs> fucking bird watching in Mermaid Avenue? Yeah. <laughs> There ain't no mermaids over here. Cr fucking abandoned buildings and shit. Yo, you believe in abandoned. mermaids? Do I believe in them? No. Any use? Splash. What? That movie Splash. Splash. They young for that. Nah, so my oh. girl. Right? Oh, you ain't got no girl. <laughs> <laughs> yo, shout out to yo, Siempre. Yo, shout out to Security. <laughs> Security. Security. You ain't got no girl. Yo, you know when they, they point at the bar? Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking Yo, FIFA, cut his mic They do that at the door when he walks up to the club Cut his mic off Oh, shit oh, 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 oh. No. What's the count? No, no That's a tough Yo, Sunday He'd be in the club with his mom So what? So what? That's dope Yo I wish I could go to the club with my Somebody mom. gave him a straight face. That's Yo, imagine somebody dubbing on your mom's flex, Nikki flex. Hey, I'll be like, you know, live a life, bro. That's what? crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> and what if she be in a puta? <laughs> like, that is what if she be in a puta dancing? He'd be like, Ma, what the fuck? She be, yo, <laughs> she lives life, man. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Nah, shout out to Ma Dukes, man. Shout out to Ma Dukes. Shout out to my mother. I love you. Yeah. Facts. I'm, I, I, I got to call her. I'm a sucker for that. Oh, get the fuck. Wait for Mother's Day to say that shit on this episode. <laughs> Bro, but, <laughs> nah, my mom Yo, be, be nice cancer. Yo, my mom be cancer. I said, you never got to work again in your life. Moved her to Brooklyn at 72 years old. Damn, that's real Let me know when someone else does some shit like that. Nah, that's real shit. Chop it up for that, see? Nah, that's real shit. That's a nice story. Everything can Mama Selecta. I'm she saying, be that's big. All the hip hop parties, she be she be hitting the spliff too. No, she do. Wow, oh, yeah, man, that's say what's that. up. Once in a while, I can say, say that. that. Oh, she, he said, yeah, once in a yeah. while. First time yeah, my mom smoked that, weed that, though. That's first time medicine. she smoked weed was on her 50th birthday. So do the math. I was, uh, I don't know, 12 or some shit, right? She kicked me out of the fucking house, and I slept in the rain on my sister's porch. So shout out to mom for that, too. <laughs> Thanks for that story. Yeah. Thanks for that. Thanks. You just <laughs> wasted I wasted 20 seconds, seconds of, of your life. 38 seconds. Bro, you've been wasting your life your whole life. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> hey, he just got a new life. He just started a new <laughs> life. Got an You're the flavor <laughs> flavor of NEMS. <laughs> Damn. Oh, oh for 40. He's oh, for oh, <laughs> nah, <that's> 10. <laughs> but flavor Flav is weird. <laughs> hey, Flavor Flav's killing the game, man. Shout out to Flavor Flav. Fuck Flavor Flav, nigga. <laughs> Why? What did Flavor Flav do to you? Yeah. You shouting out no fucking crackhead. I'm shouting out Flavor Flav. What the fuck you talk about? You shout out crackhead? Shout out, out to your moms, nigga. That we said, yeah. But we ain't shouting out Flavor Flav. Fuck out of here. <laughs> fuck you talking about? Yo, he had mad shout outs this whole shit, man. <laughs> this is his interview. Yo, we should name the whole shit Bad. shout out. Fucking Danny DeVito <laughs> went crazy this shout episode. Facts. <laughs> fuck out of here. Fucking Yo, penguin. Not the flavor. Hey, just a copper pot. <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> so don't do that Yo, around your mouth. Yo, Stop doing that. <laughs> that shit look crazy, bro. Yo, you gotta, you gotta have a. Uh, yo, you got to do a thing on Busy. You got to have the camera. Um, just like, yeah, uh, he always right. going like that with the little mic thing. <laughs> do it again crazy. so they can catch it on the thing. No. Ask him the question. <laughs> what do I? I just wanted to know if anything in your family. Nah, do it. Yo, why does he do that? Stereo. <laughs> nah, they calling me like crazy. Like, yo, who was it? Who was it? <laughs> Back, nobody, I'll... nobody knows what ant sucked the baby dick. Nah, but I, I just be like, no, that was one the craziest. Thing. But you know Some which of them one? It's a lie. You know which one it is? I saw it. You didn't see that episode, Vin? What? Yo, his aunt sucked a baby dick. What? Just watch the episode. I'm not swinging. Watch that. Yeah. Nah, because they really calling me King Fue, and I'm like, oh shit, like, I can't say the name. That's crazy. That's a bochincha and a half. Yo, mad people, I'll be having to delete comments. He's, his aunt should be arrested. <laughs> you guys find that funny? Leave that shit up. Nah. Yeah, that's hey. hilarious, bro. Yeah, I agree, by the way. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, because you it wasn't like, big. yo, it wasn't, yo, listen. <laughs> yeah, let me make this clear. No we ain't with no, yeah, like, I'm not baby. with anything against children, like, real, real life. <laughs> no. I'm not with anything against women, against children. We don't play that shit. Yeah, that's like, a fact. Old, like, real shit. 
that wasn't, that's like a family member. But him? Ay, que lindo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How like, was it? Oh, 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 my nigga popped the top. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but then you know the vibes beat right now. <laughs> 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 the vibes. <laughs> Extra fruity. <laughs> Yo. All right, man, that's it. Right Yo, he's looking up. He's back to looking up. <laughs> Who show is better, Static or, or Scrams? Scrams, DJ, like what he does DJing on his show is way better. I present the new shit. That's what I do. He does like classic mixes, and he the way he does it. So Scram, you letting him talk for you? <laughs> no, but I'm, I, I, I'm complimenting. No, I agree with him. He he. When I look at his playlist, I don't know half the records. I keep it a buck. Every week what? when he his playlist what when he oh, I, I, like all the new artists with all the new shit that's coming out. I don't know seventy five percent of that shit. I'm like, who are these rappers? Yeah, yeah. And I do my homework, and he, he so he 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 got his ear to the streets for the new people. Me, so, when I when I look at engagement, when I play new shit, I don't really see a big response because everyone's playing new shit on Shade. When I start doing the, the the sample mixes and start going digging into the crates, and my shit lights killing up. Killing shit. Yo, was you doing yeah, that fact. before Big Vaughn? I didn't even know who Big Vaughn was until I started doing it. And then they said, yo, there's a Cali dude doing samples. You're talking about Big Vaughn? I like, him. Black I got the show on Snow. The one that got it on Sunday. Oh, yeah, Sunday. Cali dude. He do, he do, he do samples. That's, that's a Big Vaughn. That's my dude. Nah, so I didn't even know he did that. But yeah, I, 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 I know, know him for 20 years. I never even knew he did that. Yeah. I, but, I do but it my I way. He do it yeah. his way and shit. But salute to him and shit. I know I found that way after. But ultimately, like I say, I, I learned that. I get caught though, cause I don't want to be the old school DJ that like not that's not you know what I mean. Cause I in the club I'm playing nothing but the new shit. I'm yeah, playing yeah. all the young boy shit, playing for twenty year olds. You know what I'm saying? But, Let's talk a little shit real quick. Cause I see a lot of New York DJs talking their shit. Let's talk a little shit. Let's bring it there. All right, bring Let's it. Let's go. We got more listeners when we're on Shade Forty Five than if you take the top five cities in America, all their listeners and put them together. <laughs> and mother, okay. nah, cause cats be on radio be like. All right, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me let me let me five off you. Is that a this is gonna sound like hate. This is gonna sound like hate. A lot hate. of DJs that be on the radio, on FM radio, are forced to play certain records. Then they get huge plaques from these uh, from these from these labels, and they're like, "Yo, we broke this shit." But they're forced because I've done High Night Seven, Power One Five. They tell me what to play. Okay, we have total freedom. We national, so we we play and what Canada. we want. No oh, international. 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 So we Fire. way bigger. And we get it earlier and we play what we want. So we actually break more artists and hit a bigger thing. But for some reason, a lot of these artists rather run to the, to the regional radio station yeah. than salute the people that are doing it internationally Safe. and have the power to do it. No, no radio version. We playing your curses. Yo, I happily... You know what I'm saying? Pay monthly. And I never. Serious by the way, I've never got a plaque Yo, for playing a record in my life. Yo, if I listen to ne every I'm plaque in my wall, I produce. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, if I'm not listening to my own like playlist, you know, whatever. I li all I listen to is serious. You want a jam? Hip hop gem. nation. Fuck Publishing. It. Yo, they play your song on 97 right now. You get like 25 cents. Facts. You, you play on serious. It's three dollars. Damn, really? that's yo. Damn, really? No, that's a fact. That's Sound a fact. Sound exchange. Sound exchange. Fine. You get paid through sound. Yo, that's exchange. a gem. No, but even with the that's race, that's a gem. Pay more, so it's like right. that's when dudes be dubbing, like yo, you Facts. do interview on my show. They think it's like what you doing some underground show. You doing satellite? Motherfucker, I got the whole country, international. Puerto Rico, Canada. Everybody you go to Canada, every car is a fucking universe. Afternoon, come on, bro. Yo, that's fire. None of y'all labels. That's a gem. I never got no Capital Record DJ Love on DJ Day. I never got no plaque for breaking records. Every plaque I got, I produce for. But, you know, shout out to them DJs that got their cribs filled with plaques with shit. Yo, no, Vinny, are you an actual yeah. DJ or just a producer? Big. Producer, man. You're just a producer? producer. I tried it. Give a yeah, fuck works. about that DJ shit, right? Nah, nah, that's the, you know, that's that shit. the beast. Yeah. I tried it, you know what I'm saying? But, you know. Nah. But it's just producer, right? Lane, yeah. Nah, uh, Vinny, Vinny is, is the producer for the streets, bro. He got the hardest shit. That's a fact. But, but this is how it is. Hold up. The next album I got is Rise of the Silverback. It's done. That's me and Scram Jones. After that, um, probably it's either me or, me and Vinny is gonna be working on out. Me and Static got half an album done already, and it's fire. You know what I'm saying? And they all sound completely different than each other. You know what I'm saying? But they're all fire, and uh, and that's why I wanted them up here. Cause if I got a platform, I want my guys to have a platform 
You know what I'm saying? And 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 that's how we we spread love. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like we shout out say to that. They, yeah, they clap it up for that. I like that. that. Oh, that. My boy be on some real shit. Yes, sir. And with that, fuck your life, Smiley. I see you. Love is love. You heard? And we out of here. Fuck your life. Fuck. Bing bong. Yes, sir. Don't ever disrespect me. Ever, 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 ever disrespect. Ever, ever, ever disrespect. Ever, ever, ever disrespect me. Pussy. Don't ever disrespect me, you heard?